Uh, my name is Tunde Kara. I'm co-founder and CEO of Vendis. Um, Vendis yeah. is a three-year-old food tech startup um, that builds end-to-end -end supply chain technology for food businesses. Our most popular product um, that most people know us um, for is the marketplace or the procurement engine that allows restaurants and other food businesses to buy directly from farms and food manufacturers. When, when we say we're building end-to-end -end supply chain technology, what we mean, like a quick overview of that is everything that is required for food to move efficiently from point of production to point of um, um, consumption for businesses, mm -hmm. what Bendis okay. builds for. So we, 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 we build um, the infrastructure for logistics and the tech for logistics, for warehousing, um, for backroom operations. We also provide financing um, on our platforms, ETC. So everything that's required for that process to move fluidly, um, we, we help businesses with. Um, for context, so when you say... So when you say you pro you provide financing, who do you provide financing to, or is it across the ecosystem, all the players within your ecosystem? Um. So right now, so the aim is to finance all the players on the ecosystem, but predominantly okay. now, most of that financing goes into financing the supply side, um, okay. So that it, it's it's easier to to get this stuff to 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 the demand side of things, although so the farmers. Um, yes. So, but the flip side of that is we also provide financing in buy now pay later formats for the for uh -huh. the demand side. Right? So we don't give them okay. actual money, but they, but they get um, um goods I on, on credits um, and then they pay back. To you. Right. So you say you've been in operation for four, for four years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three years and 11 months, yes. So let's uh, step back a bit and start from the beginning. How did you start? What, what made Tunde decide that he wants to be the food tech business in Africa? <laughs> so first of all, I, I, I grew up on a farm. Um, uh -huh. Both my parents used to run farms when, when I was a kid. Um, in Nigeria? Of, earliest pictures is of me standing on, on my mom's um, farm. So I think it was a cassava I would, farm. I would love to get that picture and include <laughs> it in our, in our composition. Yeah. Go I, on. I, I uh -huh. So, yeah. So, I, I guess so. It's, it's, very, it's very easy to tell this story uh, to make it look like, oh, because of that, I started doing this. But I, I guess yes. in the end, there's, there's, I, I, I believe in predestination. And so some mm -hmm. of all these things that you, you grew up with or the, the experiences you have all fused together to, to point in the direction that you should go. Um, but having okay. said that, um, this is not just my story. It's also the story of my co-founders. Mm -hmm. Because um, okay. on the other side of the marketplace, um, which is the restaurants and food businesses, my co-founder, Olumide, um, his parents run um, restaurants and hotels every single day in his hometown. Um, and then the other guys, um, that's Katsumi and Wale, that's the CPO and CTO, they're also foodies. So it's, this is a blend of all of those, um, unique things that, that, that kind so of the, So up. demand, demand side, supply side, and in the middle foodies. Yes, we're, we're, we're middle foodies. Nice, but the thing nice. that actually got us to start Vendis, um, mm. was it, was a series of what would I like to think of as Eureka moments. Um, uh -huh. so. Um, a couple of years back, I think about 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 five years back, um, okay. I used I, I like pork chops, and there used to be this um, pork chops um, um, food van that was close to my former office, and I would mm -hmm. go there regularly. But long story short, in this in the space of three weeks um, during that period, I went there the first time. They didn't have pork chops. They, they sent me back bad pork chops. It was it was it was almost bad, and I complained. Wow. And next time I went there in that three week period. They didn't even have pork chops at all. But the third time I visited, they had shut down. So I, I managed to track the owner's um, um, contacts. And okay. essentially, he was, he was just shutting down to refigure out his procurement process because oh, wow. he couldn't, he couldn't um, get his supplies either on time or at the right quality. He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't get the right quality he wanted or he couldn't get it at the right price. Like, he couldn't. Like the prices were always fluctuating. So he, he was shutting down so I could figure out his business and all, but the main issues were procurement. And now, um, around that period also, my co-founder, Olumide, won um, a, an online competition and the, mm -hmm. the prize was an all-paid, an all-expense-paid weekend at a hotel. 
So while he okay. and his wife were there, they overheard the procurement manager on one of, the, I think they were in the reception or something, complain about mm. another guy was supposed to have gotten. And so Olumide approached him and like, you know what, are you looking for like new suppliers? And he was like, yeah. So he, 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 he talks to him and then he comes back to us. Now the context mm. for this is before Vendis, we had founded another company together. That's me, mm. Olumide, and that's me. And that so, is still in Nigeria. Yes, in Nigeria. And so we're getting into the habit of doing stuff together, um, investing together. So he comes to us with this context mm. in mind. Like, oh, mm. okay, I found an opportunity. Let's put some money together and then let's get this guy supplies. In, so in our minds, it wasn't a technology thing. It was just a, mm. oh, this is an opportunity. Hey, and it looks like we can just make some money on the side mm. from it. And so he comes to us and I'm like, oh yeah, cool. And it, it resonated with me because I had just had mm. the experience with the owner of the pork chops um, 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 food van. Okay. So we, we put some money together and then we funded this procurement exercise, like just getting him stuff, I think about four times. Now the unique thing, what really like opened our eyes to the opportunity mm. was mm. even at, we, this, there was no, there was no concept for business. We were just, oh, let's find the cheapest possible um, 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 sourcing, um, sources for this guy and then supply him. Sourcing mechanism. And, okay. Yes. And so that and, you can make some and, margin on top. Yes. Just to make some good margin on top. And even at open market prices, because at, like I said, at this point, we're not even thinking about backward integration into farmers and yes. more. Just let's go to open markets and see if we can get this guy his stuff. And even at open market prices, we realized that we, we were able to beat his own prices. By a whole lot, I think at the time for his own unique case, it was it was up, up to twenty percent, and wow. so this was this was this was and still one, make margin, and still make margins. This was this was shocking to us because we're like this guy has procurement staff, a lot of them mm. because it was a mid-sized hotel, and then okay, if they could just go to the market and get these prices, why is he getting expensive prices? That's one. Then two, we decided to you know what, like if this guy has this problem. Then it's possible that other people have spread. And only they was like, yeah, like even with his parents, they have similar issues. So the issues yes. were unreliable supply, like I mentioned earlier, earlier, um, mm -hmm. fluctuating prices, like unreliable pricing. And mm -hmm. then, um, they also didn't have credits. Like they had to t pay ahead of time or pay a, a delivery to, to get this supply. So and it so was like, a cash oh, business. Yes, it was a cash business. So, so we, we, we looked at that and said, you know what? After we've done it a couple of times. Oh, and a very interesting um, um, anecdote to this story is Olumide's wife was the one who was like a, a worker or somebody working in a space where. Do the story? procurement. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah. So, uh, a, a, an interesting fact about this story is Olumide's wife was the one who used to do it because we all had full time jobs at the time and she, was, she used to work contracts. So, so she, she was, used to be She was the one who was, used to go to to, to buy the stuff and just deliver. So it so wasn't she was, a, she was working the side hustle. Yes. So it wasn't a refined process at all. I'm just trying to give you context. Like it was, there was no predetermined goal. It was after we saw the opportunity, we we're like, you know what? We're all tech guys because we're, we're starting, like I said, we're starting on that tech startup before yes. this. That didn't work. Yes. Like, why don't we think about this properly, do a bit of research and see if this is a big enough problem to solve at scale. And then if it is, then we need to come back and think about how we can solve this problem on scale using technology. And basically that's how, how, how the idea for Vendis came about. And um, well, our first... it wasn't, wasn't that almost like a no brainer? I mean, uh, you, you have like 